Well, there's my T Rook. This 63, I think it's 63, F100, yeah, I think it's 63, yeah, but there she is, I finished her up earlier today, here it is, damn 11 o'clock at night, so, <laughs> on a Friday night, but I give her a few coats of floor shine, I see, yeah, let's see. I like the way she sits. She's got them big old, big old truck tires on the back. <laughs> um, we yeah, them wheels come with this. That's right. Come with. I don't know about three getting sets of wheels, so uh the front tires I don't I don't remember what they come with. I had some other tires picked out, but they really wasn't tall enough. These actually come out of Broncos or International Scout. Yeah, I think it was one of the Broncos. I had already used two tires from it on something else, so I used the other two for this. So, you know, once I actually got her all painted up and got the chassis mounted up in the body, it, it went pretty, pretty quick. I mean, you see... <clears throat> uh, damn frame will act like it's made for it. Wait a minute, let me I'm gonna break my mirror off. This uh, bottom floor pan, I guess. That's some some like cor corrugated or whatever uh, flat sheet styrene I had. I thought of that. I said, oh, hell, that'd make a good uh, bottom uh, floor pan, I guess, or whatever. And it did, you know, once I got this. <clears throat> This inside part of the bed up in there, and then got my interior tub in there. So I had to, these two back pieces for the fender wheel for this. I had to cut them off the, the floor pan, I guess, that, that was for this. I whacked them off about right here on each side and glued them to the front of it this forward pan so then i had to trim around a little bit where the transmission went or goes so, yeah i'm gonna cut them exhaust pipes off there but i kind of like the way they look there shit thing <laughs> could have went back a little further but that's all right that's all right. <clears throat> These mirrors, they come with another one of them Mobius truck kits. About all them Mobius truck kits come with, I don't know, three, four sets of different mirrors. So, I like these. I didn't like mirrors that come with this. It's got the one arm sticks out and it's a round, little old round mirror. I, I don't care for that. Oh, <laughs> can you see it? Squatch. And then. There you go. 
I had pain to do it. I didn't know it until after I started putting the body parts together. I had painted the front piece before this custom version. <laughs> I was going to use it, but I said, nah. I used the, the stock pieces. Uh, there's the there's the engine and I made a mistake. I said that's a coyote engine, but it's a it's a cobra engine. It's what uh somebody told me. Smith Grove Smith Grove, I think. My bad I I think it was him. But yeah, that's a Shelby engine. That's all right. Kinda looks like a Coyote, but Coyote is more like the <laughs> um, Mopar version of a Hellcat. Well, not quite a Hellcat, but it's uh, Coyote is pretty wicked. I think one, well, they, move about, they move, both might be five liters. I think one of them was 4.6, no, and five liter between the Cobra and the, and the Coyote. I, I don't remember. And the battery here, and it, some of these air horns are supposed to go up here, but I put them right there. I was trying to find me some cab lights, chicken chasers to put up here, but I could have, I found some things, I could have made more, some bumper rits that, I think it's for the, one of the versions of this, they look like a little old chicken chasers, but uh, yeah. I mean, I couldn't decide what, it needed a decal on it, or a couple, when I used it. A Ford here, and then that Frank's Speed Shop, and a genuine Ford right here, and then one of these little old things. And the custom cab was made onto the body, I colored it chrome a little bit. But it had two decals for that, so I just put them over top. Uh, oh, yeah, and I, these little old decals. I couldn't decide which, what I wanted. It needed something on it. So. And uh, the interior is just what I showed you last time. So I'm just plain Jane, really. Uh, but yeah, I mean, oh, I, this, I forgot that forward back in, I had the gas tank behind the seat like Chevrolet's did. <laughs> uh, yeah, there. I don't even muffers, man, I just, I don't know. I shouldn't even use them. It's old style, great big old truck muffler. I had others I could use, but oh well. I had to, uh, uh, yeah, these, the front axle or spindle and the back, it had a little nipple was sticking out to where the tires that come with it fit right over them nipples and I cut them off flat they come with like uh, backing plates well the, the front ones did I used them and then glued them to the uh, inside of the, 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 the rim and uh, I used the backing the bagging rim, I guess, that come with this, these tires, snapped in and there, and they just fit right over top of them, they just press fit, I ain't even glued them, fit right over top of that, in you know, that differential, so, and they, 
Ain't just about right. Spaced out just about right. I don't hit the inner of the fender or nothing. Oh yeah. I think she looks alright. I mean it's makes me happy. So it's all it matters, ain't it? But you know I gotta show it to y'all like I always do anyway, but I would say like everybody else, tell me what you think, but I, I don't. You can tell me what you think anyway, but it, you know, it really don't matter. <laughs> uh, build a model, it's, it's, it's yours. It's, as long as it pleases you, then, you know. Yeah. Kind of get everybody else's opinion too. It kind of puts a smile on your face too, so. Damn. Yeah, it's the only thing them rings that look like about a 14 inch on here. They come with some uh, slots, that's what they call them. Yeah. They come with some of them, but yeah, they got them damn. It kind of got, looks like a Mobius. Rim, you know, you got the. Uh, let's see. That, that, that lip go around the outside, you go press them into a tire and it fit inside. It kind of holds your that rim in there with the back. It, it's one whole rim. See, you got these. These things here that fit over them nipples that was on them. Spindles and the and the deal. I kind of like these right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hubcaps. I started to put them over top of this. Yeah. I started to put them over top of them chrome wheels. <laughs> nah, you know, covering slots up. This thing here, man. <laughs> this thing come with buku the parts. Plus, I got that that topper, all glass to it. Got this big old supercharger that I can use on something. And the pieces go for it. Here's these little old mirrors I was talking about. I care for them. These are both custom grill. This is part. For the supercharger, uh, goes on the intake. This, and along with these parts here, I think. Then you got these little old dog dish hubcaps. And this is for the, uh, no, here. This part here is for the, the bubblegum machine goes on top. This thing here. They got a red red lens for that too. Yeah, that's got bukus of parts. Oh, here's these little old bumperettes. See, they look kind of like them chicken chaser lights. Go over top of your cab. A bunch of tools, toolbox. Wooden bumper, simulated wood, and a toolbox, fire extinguisher, extra battery. These are the axle things that goes on the chassis for this. Uh, and that, that right here, and, and right here. And metal, it's got a metal axle goes through it. And I guess. It, Kind of custom pieces and a couple of jerry cans, old five gallon gas can it looks like. Yeah, it, it comes with damn. There's all kind of parts down in here still, and I got that extra engine. I'm pretty sure it's 352. There's 
We got two belts of the fan. Actually, that goes to the 352 that's in here. This. And you got parts built a few different ways. Pretty decent set of living headers there. Goes with that. That ladder goes up the cab up. Here you go up the top of it, I guess. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. I don't remember what these are for. That would make, you know, on a smaller truck, it'd make a good window protector. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know what this is for. I guess it goes. Well, maybe it's a, a rack goes on top of that damn camper topper. I don't know. What the hell is for? Hmm. Yeah. A bunch of other little old parts down here, that's about it. Minutes. Gee. That's it. That's, uh, that's all we got on that. Uh, YouTube, I can't comment on nobody's video if YouTube cut me off. <laughs> this thing popped up on my phone, some kind of bad comment I left on it. This girl's channel. Summer Sanchez. She does these things here. Crime, or reality, drama, deal, crimes, cults, and heinous history. But she done a episode talking about this gal here. Out in Arizona. She got a I had a big YouTube channel, but it was all a facade. That's what it was called, a YouTube channel. But when they weren't on camera, she treated them kids like shit. She had two grown boys of her own. They were in their 20s. And they were with their mom, done whatever she wanted. But she had uh, two or three adopted kids and then she was a foster mother she was taking foster kids and she just take the one troubled kids kids they had had problems with from other foster homes and if she know if she done something to them the damn cpa or whatever they you know kids say anything and then they ain't gonna believe them which she got away with it she had 11 different reports sent in on her and they just they wiped it all off covered it up and she treated all them kids like shit even her adopted kids the only one she didn't treat that way was her two oldest boys and like i said they were siding with her mom she was locking kids up, making them stay in the house all the time. She had them in school for a little while when she first. I think it was just them adopted kids, though, she had in school. But she took them out of school, claimed that she was homeschooling, which she wasn't. And didn't feed none of them right. If any of them, she had a pantry full of food, refrigerator full of food. Freezer full of food, but she did not let them kids have any. If they got caught getting any of that food, she'd punish them. Hit them in places where nobody'd see the marks. And man, this is all over TV way back. That was her name, Michelle Hobson. Big old lard ass bitch. Looks like a beach well. One of the kids, girls, got away and got, I don't know, a mile or maybe further away from her home. And she couldn't see her house no more. 
she had got a phone. Her brother had an old phone. One of her older brothers had a phone. He was thrown away because he got a new one. Well, she got that phone, and somebody she had, somehow or another, she got on the internet was talking to some guy. He told her how to get turned back on or she could make calls and that. Well, when she got away from home, she called 911. And a deputy, sheriff deputy, come out. She told him everything was going on. He believed her. And them kids, that damn Michelle, she only let them kids maybe, maybe take a bath once a year. Maybe. Sometimes it's longer than that. The house is funky and them kids were funky. They finally caught up to her and what's that girl told the authorities what was going on. And a bunch of cops went, went in the house the next morning. Had the warrant ready. <laughs> she got her her just. So uh, yeah, I've been watching this girl quite a bit. That's she go by her name, that's her channel name right there. She pretty good. it tells all about the real real life. Bad people, bad cults, cults and heinous history evil son bitches. Uh well, I blame her now twenty one minutes. Alright, that's the name of this tune. Thank y'all for watching. Mm. Like, share, and subscribe. I might as well see that everybody else does. So. Alright, love y'all. Bye.